to my channel. If this is your first time here, hello, my name is Nita. Thank you so much for stopping in. So let's talk about when you really want to become a powerful person. Let's talk about some steps that it's going to take. Number one, you have to believe in yourself. Fully believe in yourself. No doubt. You have to just know that you are who you are because that's the way God made you. That's the way you are because that's the way you are. You have to believe in in the abilities that you have and believe that you are a certain way and even if you're different than a crowd that you are still an amazing being number two you have to have faith in where you're going so if you know if you have an inkling or an idea of where you want to go in life you have to know or have faith that it will come to pass that you will get there there's no room for doubt. If you're trying to become a powerful person, you have to keep on moving. Be strong, be faithful, and just keep on going. No matter how many obstacles stand in your way, you have to know that it's going to be okay. You have to believe that everything's going to work out in your favor. Number three, you have to stop listening to what other people say. If someone has something negative to say about you and you listen, it's going to throw you off guard. So you have to just stay focused on what it is that you're trying to do in life, who you're trying to become, where you're trying to go. Because if you will listen to other people, it will discourage you, it will confuse you, and it will throw you off and to the point where you won't be, you, all your power will be taken away from you. You won't have it anymore. Someone else, other people's opinions and thoughts are going to have the power and that's not what we're trying to do. We're trying to gain power and be powerful and successful in ourselves. Therefore, you don't have time to listen to what someone else has to say negatively about you. Number four, you need to know what it is that you're trying to do in life. You have to know what your purpose is. You have to know what your goals are. And when you know that, you have a blueprint. The most powerful people, they have a blueprint. You know, when we talk about oh, that's a powerful person, that's because they know the direction that they're going in. And like I said, with all these points, they all tie in together. They stay focused. And no matter how many people try to drag them down, they keep on moving. And then number five, you have to have a positive mindset. You can't expect greatness to come in your life or expect to be this phenomenal person, if you're doubting yourself, if you like, oh, I know I can do this, or you feel like I can do this, and you may even feel like you had a strength to do something, but then at the same time, you're, oh, I really can't do this, or I hate that I'm chosen for this, or I don't know what I'm doing, or I suck at this, that is going to kill out all the positivity, all the all the good vibes, all the power that you thought you had is all out the window just with that one negative thought. You could have 20 positive thoughts, but that one negative thought is always going to outpower and outshadow all of those positive thoughts because negativity kills positivity. Remember that. If you're trying to be on that road to becoming the best you, the most powerful you, to be that person and people look at it like, now that is a powerful person. You have to make sure that you're standing in your truth and that you're pushing through whatever it is that's coming your way. And as a bonus tip, you want to make sure that you remain strong. And that goes for men and women. Remain strong. Men are not the only ones that need to be strong. Women are not the only ones that need to be fragile and in need of help and all this. We all need to be strong because you have to have strength to do all five points, you have to have some good strength because whenever our enemy sees us on the right path or sees us trying to work towards the goals or towards the things that God has for us, towards the gifts that that is in us and we're, we're tapped into that and we're working towards moving towards that goal when everyone else is stuck in the, in the dark and stuck in confusion because they're caught up in the world and they're caught up and not knowing who they are. They're caught up in listening to what other people have to say. They're caught up in um, makeup and and fashion and, and they're caught up in making money and doing all kinds of things like that. But you're moving towards that goal, that's when the enemy is gonna strike and all this negative stuff is gonna come towards you. You're like, I'm, I was just minding my business. But now everybody wanna talk about me. Everybody got something to say. Everybody, you know, have a problem with me now. 
it's not because of you it's because of where you're going so you have to have strength keep that strength up you have to hold on to it don't let it go don't let your mind wander off don't allow yourself to fall into a, a, a situation where you're starting to have negative thoughts and feelings because once you do that you get off track but y'all let me know what you think about this video let me know your thoughts on it and if you have any questions or you know if you want to share any testimonials on how you became a powerful strong individual or when you felt the strongest in your life what did you do in those times to help you to feel the way that you felt and you know just keep someone else encouraged encourage me you know we're all on this journey together and as i always say just be polite and courteous because someone is going to read your messages including myself and we don't have time for people's spirits to be down low we need to lift them up and and just help each other feel like yes we can get through things yes we can do something yes we can get to the next step so let that person and of positivity be you and we will talk next time bye <music>